Hey guys, welcome back, happy Tuesday. Today we're gonna to take a look inside this box, um, this beautiful kit, which is Meng's Jeep Wrangler Rubicon JK. Very kind of hard to find kit, not hard, easy to find nowadays, uh, but came out a couple of years ago, looks really nice, and it's from 124th scale. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. Okay, so here it is. Nice, beautiful Jeep, the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon two-door. It's a JK version, so I'm not sure exactly, I'm not sure what it says in here, but I'd say it's around about 20, kind of 2012 to 2020-ish kind of year, because um, I actually had one of these 2012 version. So there you go, it looks like maybe get the hard top, we'll see when we open the box up. Really cool looking Jeep, the JK. It's um, CS003, 10th anniversary edition. by Meng. So Meng don't make many cars, but they do make nice ones too. So this is 24 scale. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot if I mentioned that, but um, it is licensed product by Jeep too. These are really hard to find, these kits. Um, I don't know why, there's short supply right now, so if you see one, grab one, get them into your stash, because again, these are kind of dwindling from the uh, supplies of them. So here's your um, parts we'll look at in a minute, as always. Here's your color pulled out, so basically a hard top or a soft top, and Colors are really, you can basically paint these any colors you want. If you go on a Jeep website, you'll see you get black ones, you get white ones, you get orange, you get green, you get red, you get blue, you name it, you can do whatever color you want. Here they got a white one and a, like a blue one, I guess. Okay, instructions, nice little booklet. And um, get started, so it looks like we start with, it's kind of nice to tell you, the brake rotors and the axles. As always, I'll scoop through these pretty quick. Um, just pause so you want to see more information. Then you're working on the exhaust, nice clear instructions, break it out, typical Meng. Frame assembly, drive shaft, suspension, suspension, and rear hydraulic shock absorber. So again, nice detail going in. I don't think it's an engine, but we'll see as we go through instructions here. Attaching the rear bumper, front bumper, tires, floor assembly, uh, pasture compartment assemblies, seats, kind of look at armchairs, rear seat. Again, really nice instruction, very clear the way it's laid out, and a couple of parts going on each one, not super busy. 16, center, the um, dashboard, mud guards body, then the roll bars, roll bars, and we've got the hood of the bonnet, depending on the wall, yep, no engine. When your hood goes on, you've got your windshield, and it's like tailgate, with a wheel on the back. You also want to paint all this body color first, not the wheel on the end, I imagine. Build trim, and then that gives you your open top version, attaching the chassis to the frame to the chassis, um, the chassis to the body, so I say. And then you have the, it's just a real thing, you have the actual hard top, which goes on and off. Just like, you, no glue, you just place it on, take it off as you need it, which is kind of neat. So, some glass parts going on here, and you've got the hard top, which is always going to be black. I guess, unless it's the Sahara you're doing. And paper stuff to go. Um, yep, just, this is the exact same as my real one. So you have these two panels that go on the front here. Um, so you can leave them on or off, I guess. And doors, again, you can leave doors on or off because a lot of time Jeeps, people drive around the doors off. If you want to attach the doors and have it buttoned up, there you go. Again, the colors at the back, um, just typical, usual colors. And again, with the body colors, just whatever, I mean, pretty much any primary or any color you can paint these in pretty much. Um, looking through here, it's like we have reflective foil. I'm seeing that, maybe that's behind. So there's the instructions, pretty straightforward. Into the parts, there's one, two, three, four, five sprues, clear parts, springs, and wheels. Alrighty, where's my knife? Okay, as typical main, beautiful plastic. Let me zoom back a little bit in for you guys. Um, 
Yeah, let's just see detail on the doors. Set the console. Just these parts. I mean, a bit really nice. See the um even got the mats in there with a tread on it. Cup holders. Bring back memories of my one. Exactly the same I was sleeping or I had. But yeah, really nice, um, really good start. So really nice solid sprue meng, so there's gonna be no crazy ejection pins or um, flash or anything like that. It's not an AMT kit, it's top of, you know, meng is pretty much up there. So really good. Okay, next up, a bunch of little parts, various parts. Um, it's like transmission boxes, or brake calipers. Here's our roof panels and the hard top here. Bunch of little parts, again, looking really good. Axles. And no problems at all. A few ejection pins on the bottom of the um, the panels here, so if it depends, if you if you want to kind of remove these, you might want to take out the ejection pins so because you, you can see the inside. If you're just going to put these down, you're not going to see it, if you can have it down all the time. Okay, another black screw. This time up, we got the... Oh, cut it. There we go. Okay, looks like we have the chassis frame, the frame. This is your roll bar with some kind of soft material goes around it, molded in. Very cool. There's your wheels. Kind of like the black, to be honest with you. You can obviously chrome these up or metallic paint them. So you got your four wheels, and you got your spare. No problems at all. And, well, I've never seen a sprue this color before. <laughs> what an interesting color. So, this is your body parts. They, they've chosen them all in this color, which I'll probably prefer to do with white, but nevertheless. Um, yeah. Wow. What an interesting color. So there's your doors. It's very smooth. Your hood. There's your iconic grill. Jeep molded in. And the other side. Back no problem at all. What an interesting color. Get an idea of a size too. So it's not a big guy in this scale. So it's going to be, what, five and a half, almost six inches long. Well, the tire is probably about six inches long. Wow. I've never seen plastic that color before out of the box. Awesome. Okay, interior parts are more than this kind of color, which is <laughs> another interesting color choice. So we have the two front seats, the back seat. I don't remember them being that kind of comfortable. It looks like an armchair. And various other parts on here. But no problems at all. Again, crisply molded, beautiful. What you expect. Tires. Obviously, we five. Just need to get one out. There's no markings on there, molded in, but um, very soft and squidgy. It's, like it's a seam line running around the side, side of each. Very minor one, but not bad at all. See the tread? But unfortunately, nothing molded. Just for lic licensing reasons, and then you've got your clear parts. Wait, am I missing something here? Oh, there it is. I fell out of the bag. So there's four springs for your suspension. I knew there springs in the box somewhere. I was looking, I couldn't see them. So, okay, clear parts in a, nice in, in a plastic kind of um, shrink wrap. So we've got the, um, yeah, looking really good. I'm not going to take these out. We've got the, um, the part for the hard tops back here. We've got the windscreen. The rear window, side windows, and some lights and stuff. No problem, it's all there. And finally, this must be a metal thing. I got it, so it's the Rubicon stickers. So, let's open these up. Alrighty, we're back. My light, battery my light ran out, so I had to quickly plug it in. So, zoom in, so we've got these, this final part. Almost got for a whole review and my camera died, battery died at the very, very last minute. So we're good to go now, so let's finish this bad boy up. So, oh. so it looks like we have, it must be for your mirrors. 
some little stickers and a little Jeep in like the metal. And then here's your decals, which is gonna be your instrument cluster. That's a couple of Rub Rubicon stickers. That's it, nothing fancy there. And that is it, that's your kit. Um, I'm gonna put these away for I lose them. Looks really nice. Um, having owned one of these before, I'm kind of excited to build these. Again, they're really hard to find. I don't know why. Um, they're going for some stupid money right now. So if you do see one and you do want a free stash, I do pick one up because these, you know, these main kits are really nice. Um, they better bring out that GT40 soon too, which is going to be really nice, I think. So let me get a box in here. Here we go. So here's a box again. So wrap this guy up. Zoom my camera out, and there you go. So again, it's a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon by Meng. It's part number CS003. It's a relatively recent, newer, newer kit. I think it came out about two years ago, if that, maybe a year ago. Um, you can buy an aftermarket set for it too from Meng, provide like a resin set. Well, I think it's like a roof rack and a different bumper and some lights and uh, maybe a snorkel and various things. Like, kind of pimp it up basically. So do that kit as well if you want to. But again, it looks a really nice kit. You've seen the plastic, it looks beautiful. No engine, but you know, curbside, but it'd be pretty cool, maybe a little diorama with, on a trail or on a beach or something. But yeah, there you go. So again, thank you as always, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.